Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, aluminum hydroxide. So let's work from left to right. I see that I have aluminum. I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where aluminum is. And aluminum is right here, right? Aluminum is represented as Al, and aluminum is in this uh, group over here. Generally, they are plus three charges. They lose three electrons. So I'm going to say Al is a plus three. Now I move to the next part. I see that I have hydroxide. It's an IDE ending, which means that maybe it's going to be a nonmetal, right? Nonmetals always get the IDE ending. But if I look on the periodic table for something that's called hydroxium, right, or something like that, I'm not going to find it, right? Which means, star this one up, guys. Hydroxide is actually a polyatomic ion. You have to memorize that. All right, so hydroxide is always OH with the minus one. Now I have my two components. I do this little trick where I take these charges and I crisscross them down to just get the subscripts and how many of each I need. So this three will crisscross down, telling me that I need three OHs, and this one will crisscross down, telling me that I need one aluminum. When you do this crisscrossing, don't worry about the charges anymore. You're just focusing on your subscripts, okay? Now we're ready to write the formula. I have aluminum, which is Al. I only have one of them, so I don't have to write this one. But now here's the thing. I have multiple polyatomics. In this case, I have three hydroxides. When you have more than one polyatomic, you need to show parentheses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put parentheses, OH, close the parentheses, and then I say that I have three. This now says that I have three of the whole polyatomic. And now I am done. So aluminum hydroxide is just AlOH3. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope it's helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you want to help us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And I will see you all in future lessons. I hope you're having a great day. All right, take care. Bye-bye.